Good morning, everyone. A plaque hangs in the North X of this church with the names of 31 members of this congregation. We call this outstanding group the Pillars of First Evangelical Lutheran Church. They represent the pathway members of this congregation have taken throughout history to make this grand church what it is today. The men's club is aware that there are many members who richly deserve this honor and will attempt to recognize each of those in a timely manner. But for this morning, we recognize one of those members whose name is newly inscribed on that plaque. Our honoree was married in this very sanctuary 31 years, uh, sorry, 35 years ago. Even before becoming a member of this church, he served its members by assisting in the instruction of confirmation classes. He soon became a member of the congregation and has been a committed, faithful, and dependent servant ever since. He joined the property board early in his membership and served as a member or a chair or the chair of that board for decades. Serving as a chair of that property board from 2000 and, 2007 to 2010, he led the church through the daunting task of restoration and recovery after Hurricane Ike. The church was damaged and most of its members suffered in losses to their own homes. Our honoree was a steadfast and, and present, uh, uh, yeah, sorry, a presence here in this church during that long road of recovery. Even though the church is now decades past that devastation, there are still many jobs which we depend on him on a regular basis, and he's always there to help in any way he can. He has served the church on the church council, not only as a property board chair, but also as a finance secretary. He is also a member of the, an, of the men's club, and he's always helping us do something, whether it be a, preparing a meal, uh, putting together some other kind of presentation, or service, uh, service project. For many years, our honoree has served on the island's Oktoberfest committee, coordinating, implementing, and troubleshooting all the electrical needs of that entire festival each year. He spent count countless hours applying his skills as a licensed electrician to benefit this congregation, saving thousands of dollars that could be used in other places for projects, missions, and ministry. He's also a skilled carpenter, and he and his crews have made significant improvements to many areas of the church, like adding the beautiful doors that are upstairs in our Sunday school area. Our honoree is also an artist, which I didn't know. He created a uh, stained glass piece that hangs in our uh, parish hall, and he made that as a deal for a 150th uh, celebration. And what he did is the donations came in, he put a new piece into this stained glass until he finally had it completed, and today it still hangs there in the parish hall. He also makes ceramic chalices for the confirmants for the, for, uh, the children, and so each one of them gets one when they get finished with their confirmation. It's a little keepsake. He's, uh, he's quite a uh, accomplished young man. So therefore, in recognition of all these contributions, and undoubtedly many more that we haven't listed here today, um, I would ask that the family of Jim Gaynor please bring him to the front to... Uh, And one of the fun things is that the person nominated does not know about it, and there's always that moment when you recognize that the penny drops and they're going, oh. <laughs> and it's a joy to celebrate. Uh, James, you, you do. You do so much behind the scenes that people don't realize. The lights in the back parking lot were out for a time, and who came to the rescue to make sure that they were fixed? James. Who changes filters in the air handling system and does that stuff that's not always pleasant, but it's time consuming? James. 
He's always serving in the congregation, and we're ever so appreciative for all that you do. I also have a lot of help out there. (laughs) He's saying he also has a lot of help out here. A lot of people that help me and and to do things that I've done around here. So it's very, very appreciated. Thank you. And thanksgiving to God, some applause. And let us share in a prayer of thanksgiving. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Holy God, we thank you for you indeed give gifts to all of your people. And when those gifts are used to your glory, it is a beautiful thing. We thank you for the giftedness that you have given to James, and we ask your blessing on him. We thank you for your light that we see shining in his life. And ask, O Lord, that you bring blessing upon blessing to him. May his name on the plaque be a reminder to us all of that calling to serve you as we serve others. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Congratulations.